What's up YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with the starters page and this is a pretty cool bag. It's the S-Zone Vintage Crazy Horse Genuine Leather Backpack. And what makes this actually different from any other backpacks or briefcases that I've actually reviewed from penny buying are the multi-pocket functionalities. There's a lot of pockets if you guys haven't seen it yet. And there's also plenty of compartments inside. And what I love about this backpack is how it looks so sleek when you have everything put together. So with that said, this is going to be a walkthrough slash review of this backpack. So with that said, let's just jump in and then take it from there. So let's actually start off in the front of these pouches right here. So you could actually use this for multiple reasons, for either hiking, for you know school, you know travel, pretty much whatever you wanna use it for. It has all those functionalities to kinda of take care of all your needs. So in this pocket right here, it has a good amount of space and it's actually perfect for more like pencils, things like that, that you're able to put in here. I actually put cables and power bricks in here. I found it perfect on here so I don't have to crumble up all my cables. What makes this bag also interesting is how it has these locking mechanism. So that's actually how it locks into place. It doesn't move, however, once you put it in there, it actually keeps it snug. And I've actually never had any issues with these straps actually coming out when I didn't need it to be. So it does take a little effort when trying to actually inserted it but after a while you actually get used to it and it's very simple actually taking the strap off so you pull it out and then that's it you have a good amount of space in here and i'll show you guys what i put in these compartments so you guys have a good idea on what you could kind of expect with these pockets and that's actually going to be in another video so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that so the length of this from my fingertip all the way to my palm is slightly shy from my wrist line right here so it's actually pretty deep uh, considering and I have medium-sized hands I'm actually gonna put this back in and it's very simple uh, this pocket right here is a little bit smaller these two are almost the same size however I believe on the left it's slightly narrower compared to the one on the right so when you open this up let's put my hand in right here Perfect, so from the fingertip all the way to my wrist line, it's a little bit more deeper than the one on top. However, it's more narrow. So I'm actually pretty surprised on how well these pockets handles you know, certain things on there. So let's take this out, show you guys right here. So from the fingertip all the way to my wrist line, so they both have the same depth on there and obviously this one right here is just a simple zipper and that's actually a really cool touch in my opinion F fingertip right here all the way to my wrist line it's actually just at the base of my finger so that's actually pretty cool zipper is really nice very solid no issues at all and it has that industrial feel so it's not one of those cheap zippers uh, that you're gonna have with this bag so everything in this bag is very premium you won't have any issues or at least I never had and the tags right here is really nice very thick leather and it's actually double layered as well so let me see if I could focus in for you guys so just take a look at that it's double layered which is nice because you're gonna have that really nice thick uh, tag to pull on which is good and you have that simple stitch line right here it's a, actually a good touch in my opinion so on the side here's the side view right here and it's pretty narrow you don't have much room uh, to be quite honest right here um, however you can put like you know your pencils you know pretty uh, a good amount of stuff on here that's pretty narrow nothing too thick in my opinion, you could put obviously a cell phone, a charging bank right here. So, you know, things that will allow it to go in. Fingertip to wrist line, it's actually right on my wrist line, which is really cool. And it's kind of snug, so just be careful with that. The button's connected via a magnetic button. So, let's take a look at that. Button feels really good as well. Metal is really nice as well. And just clips on simply like that. And the grip on the button is actually really good that's a strong magnet that they used so let me show you the other side even though it's the same 
So that's how it looks right here. Same magnetic style as the other side. And then that's pretty much it for the front. Let me show you guys the bottom. The bottom is super thick. It gives you really good protection on there. And since you're able to put laptops and tablets on there, and it actually has special compartments for them, it has to be thick and durable, especially if you guys want to use this for travel. So the bottom is going to be really nice. You won't have to worry too much about, you know, scruffing the belongings inside of here. So that's really nice. Let's turn it around. I want to mention the straps is really, really nice. Super thick. Just look how thick that is on there. It's really strong and it feels really good. It has a nice soft material to it. I'm not too sure what they use right here, but it feels really good. The strap right here, I actually never had issues. Paul and I use this bag to kind of go hiking, if you guys haven't seen in the intro. And the reason being is because I wanna see how well these straps kind of hold up. And he never had any issues with it, which is super nice. Very easy to actually adjust as well. And to be quite honest, I actually prefer this style right here. So it's very simple. Here's the strap itself. It has that nice, sexy design where you have a leather in the middle and you have the fabric on the end right here. So slightly showing off on the edges while all the way in the back it actually is presented. So I found that really interesting and it's a nice touch. It gives the bag a really good look. And the other cool thing about this bag is it has a secret compartment right here at the back. Let me show you how deep it is on this end. So from my fingertip all the way to my wrist line, it's actually slightly below my wrist line. So that's actually pretty nice considering it's a secret compartment. And both of my hands uh, with actually probably like two fingers apart, you have a lot of space on there. So that is really, really cool. Yeah, that's pretty much how that looks. The handle right here is really awesome. I found this design throughout the whole bag is really, really nice. Everything just goes through well. The seam, I do wanna mention the seam is on the bottom. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, I'm not a big fan where the seam is on the bottom, but it actually doesn't feel bad at all. It actually bends with the shape of your fingers, which a lot of, you know, straps does but this one feels a little bit better at least in my opinion however if you guys use this strap right here then you won't have any issues which i actually use that a lot since i'm not a big fan with that seam once you guys close it up right here it is a little difficult to actually strap this together but once you guys get it strapped on then you won't have any issues there's no seam in the bottom other than that single stitch line right there so i actually like this a lot and it actually protects your bag as well so it's kind of like a second protection line where if they try to open it up they can't really open it up unless they click this and you guys will be able to tell so that's a very very solid button that they're using right here and it actually looks nice just take a look at that in my opinion it looks sexy all right, so before we actually open it up, I wanna show you guys there is a lip on here. And I like that lip. It actually protects the zipper just a little bit more on there. So it protects it right here and at the same time makes it difficult for you know any thief to actually try to open this up, especially since all your belongings are going to be in here. So it's slightly like a deterrent. Uh, I'm not too sure if that was the <laughs> purpose of it. But yeah, after you guys flip the lip up it's very easy to actually open up so let's open it up and you have plenty of space so just take a look at that let me show you guys this part right here first so in this part right here you have several compartments first you have this zipper right here and let me show you guys the depth so from my fingertip all the way to my wrist line is actually right on the wrist line and there's plenty of space so it's actually almost the same dimensions as the back as I showed you guys before. So you have two pockets right here and it's really cool, but I wanna mention this. This is bigger than this pouch, but it's actually tighter. So just look at that. This is more loose compared to this. So depending on what you guys wanna you know, put in here, I actually use this part 
for my hard drive and I put you know like my phone or you could put other things right here as well here is a uh, pen holder which is really nice because it's actually constructed with leather and it has an open-ended cap right here so I love that when bags have that because when you insert your pen or pencil whatever you put in here it shows off the style of your pen and in my opinion that's just a really nice touch to show off whatever pen you guys have so in the bottom right here, this is actually where you place your tablet, which is super awesome. The padding on here is not that bad. It's not thick, but it's not uh, thin as well. So it has a really good padding on here. And it's actually somewhat similar to like memory foam. The bounce on here is really good. It's not firm or fluffy at all. So it has a really good balance on there so this is where you place your tablet which is super awesome in my opinion and it's held down with this strap strap is flexible as well so just take a look at that so if you guys have a bigger tablet or a smaller tablet it would accommodate you so that's a nice touch and then that's pretty much it on that side here's your compartment which you're able to pull actually a good amount of stuff in here which is super awesome let's take a look at the laptop side now so look at that guys oh my gosh love this pouch love it love it material on here for the laptop padding is the same as this side right here so you won't worry too much about that and you have a good amount of space i believe you're able to fit a 15 inch laptop in here i only have a 13 inch macbook pro retina so <laughs> you have plenty of room in here it doesn't move around when i actually use it so that's really Really nice and the strap is also flexible as well so that's a really nice touch this velcro strip right here is actually super nice because the surrounding it won't actually pick up any of it so take a look at that so it's not gonna fray any of these materials so let me just show you guys real quick so take a look at that did not fray it whatsoever so that is super super awesome I thought that was very genius how they actually did that so I did want to point that out so you won't have any of those issues which is super super nice all right guys so that's pretty much it that's my review of this S zone multi pocket backpack I really really love it stay tuned I'll actually post another video of what's in my bag video on here with that said, my name is Jefferson. You guys got to check this out. Definitely worth it. And I love it. Materials great. Real leather. So you guys won't have those issues. And like always, guys, take care.